1024 once again with NASCAR Heat 3. In this episode of the Extreme Dirt Tour, we are going to Richmond Raceway with Jay Martin's number 64 KSJ Enterprises car. At least I think that's what we should call the primary sponsor. It's on the side, though. The reason why I'm choosing this one is because it's obviously a Days of Thunder throwback. Haven't seen that movie in a while, but I really do need to. My girlfriend hasn't seen it. She's sitting right beside me. Um, it's a movie with Tom Cruise where he was an ass car driver. That was a hot shot, but then got the job done somehow. I don't even know if Culture Glover actually won a freaking championship, though. I don't know about that story. I know he won races. That was cool. Uh, custom difficulties, uh, 105, 25% race length, four times tower and fuel consumption. Uh, we got strict yellows on. I mean, the whole tower fuel consumption thing, that doesn't really take effect, obviously. It's the dirt series. Single race stage, we've got quick qualifying on because you can't exactly turn qualifying off. But, yeah, we always start in last place. Full damage, stability help is going to be off. Um, no custom setups, and of course the transmission is going to be set to automatic. I've chosen this track because I've watched What If Racing go here and struggle like crazy, and I guess it's just like one of the harder tracks in the series. I don't know if it's the hardest one. Jefferson Raceway was pretty tough just because I had no experience there, but I feel like once I get experience there, I'll be fine. This one, I have never actually raced with AI before, before recording um, this video. I've only gone there for online races, and I was good there off. Um, well, online, so offline, sorry, last place, uh, it could be hard. I know on the back stretch it's so freaking smooth, the car likes to turn on its own. That was a weird thing to realize. We've got it on setup 5, which is balanced. I don't know if I'd like for the car to be looser at this track. I think that's what I usually go with is balance, but I want to try something looser just because this is uh, one of the tougher tracks in the series. So, no qualifying, no qualifying. Yeah, they gave you practice, give you qualifying. They don't have the option to just turn everything off like NASCAR 8 2, which kind of sucks. So let's quick start race. It says we're starting in 24th, so I guess we didn't get any people messing up qualifying or making unapproved body modifications or stuff like that. Brady Lewis, pole winner. I swear he was up front like a few races ago. I've been wearing the same t shirt for the past two videos, so I don't need to wear this shirt in this video. Plus, this is probably going to be one sweaty fucking race with how much harder this track is than the other ones from what I've heard. Uh, I think what happens is one, the field actually breaks apart here and uh, it's hard to get passes done. They get aggressive when they're behind you. I had to start all the way on the freaking outside because I had to start 24th, so that'd make turn one very easy for me. Okay, 20 laps. I'm gonna go by quickly if I can't get anything done here. Three wide, and the three. Yeah, they're breaking up apart up front right now, but I don't know how much right in front of me. These guys are still a good bit together. Speed it into turn one. If I'm slow in, I can get a really good run off, I think. Well, if I'm not hitting the apron like that. I'm watching the mirror trying to block the guy behind me, but I'm now realizing that's my spoiler. That's happened to me a lot in this game. With the rearview mirror, the spoiler shows up into it, and I think there's someone behind me. Ugh. I mean, there's someone there in a blue car, but that's about it. That was a freaking throwaway lap. Okay. Throw it into turn one. Give me two positions. Slide job. Slide job. I slided his nose off of his face. That sense didn't make any sense, but mine never did. Okay, yeah, the field's broken into like two packs right now. I'm just hitting the 76 car because I ain't got any room down here. Okay, I st still think I can make up some positions before this is all said and done, but yeah, I'm probably going to finish worse in this race than I did in Jefferson looking at how this is turning out. This is one of the tougher tracks. I think qualifying would be necessary to get a win here. Or either that, a lot, much longer race so you can have the time to grind on someone else's lead. Ugh. Car is getting a run underneath me, but I'm trying not to lose control of this car and oversteer or understeer or whatever it is this car is doing with the back end of it. Weight shifting. He tries dumping me going into turn one. I don't approve of that. Okay, up in front of this guy. This freaking white car behind me is getting big runs. I just gotta catch up the leaders up there. I can't do that if this guy is trying to wreck me going to every fucking corner. Damn Glavka. Ugh. It's like once the run starts getting along, everybody starts wrecking you and dive bombing you and freaking stuck on the outside getting hit by the 17 car. Ugh, well, what, what do I do now? I can't finish well. I, I really don't know what to do. Once the race gets going, I guess they just all start passing you. I guess, I don't know how, like, tire fallout could be a thing, but that's what I feel like I'm getting right here is just fallout. I'm getting passed by everybody. <laughs> this track is actually hard. Well, the AI are actually good here compared to all the other tracks we've done. Ugh, fuck you. My position. I can't do that to everybody, because, yeah, I'll leave. These guys, they will actually start racing each other. And sure as I'll race me in a way I can't compete with them. Hitting John Goodman over here, trying to get back around him. 
yeah, we're gonna finish awful in this race. There's no w way around that. But I could still wreck somebody and get some positions if they just throw a fucking caution, because that's like the only way I could actually finish well in this race is if a caution comes out. They, they've been wrecking in some races, but I don't know if that's gonna happen in this one. Sliding along that bottom lane and up to the top. Okay, can I actually catch those two guys up there? That'd be wonderful. Caught Sean Wilson. I'm going to just drive up the track like he doesn't exist because a while ago I sure as hell didn't. Get out of here. Whenever I'm on my own, I have the time to focus. I could get somewhere. But uh, yeah, this is a very, very fucking long run track and that's about it with this place. And once it begins, everything just breaks apart completely and you've got to just depend on like getting a position every 10 or 15 laps at this point. If you could see just how much is broken apart with even the AI themselves. Now, if a caution happens, that'd be great, but it's kind of unlikely, in my opinion, because there's just no one racing around each other. I can hold back Sean Wilson, but that's it for this race, I suppose. There is a car parked uh, before pit road. It'd be nice if that was a caution. I don't know if you just DNF or what, but that was that. Last lap of the race. I can say this is definitely the hardest track in the series, but not for a good reason in terms of quality of racing. This breaks apart so badly, it's like NASCAR Cup Series breaking apart, like where everything just, like, what single file, big gaps between every car. And I feel like one car starts passing another, so, like, they slow themselves down, and once that happens, everything just breaks apart completely. So we've done four episodes, we've got five left. Yeah, it ain't taking us very long to get to the Camping World Truck Series. And I am very nervous about going into the, the paved races and, you know, all the actual NASCAR stuff, because... Yeah, the AI have gotten a lot better in the actual NASCAR stuff. Especially from what I've done in the Cup Series since I got this game and played it a lot. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.